Hey guys, this is Zah, and this will be my third video showing you how you can shift the world tendency from pure black to pure white, but this time we're going to be exploring the Boltarian Palace. If this is your first time playing Demon Souls and you don't understand the tendency mechanic, I made a video explaining it in full details and everything in that video will apply to the remake as well, because it's the same system, so give it a try. Before we start, make sure that there is at least one boss alive in the specific archstone you want to turn from pure black world tendency to pure white. Otherwise, you'll be missing one point from being like pure white. The first thing you need to do is disconnect from the internet and start the game in offline mode so that you'll be on the safe side and nothing will bother you. After that, load the game and make sure you stay in soul form for the whole process. Do not revive to your human or body form at all. So if you are in body form, which means like you have your full health and all that stuff, go to the nexus and then just jump off and die and that will put you back in soul form. Before doing anything, make sure that the tendency for the Boltarian Palace is pure black. Also, before you start this whole process, make sure that you've at least killed one of the Archdemons so you can get the item that will allow you to go through the fog door by the Tower Knight. So this could be anything, something like the uh, Dragon God or like the Old Monk or any of the, like, the final bosses in one of the Archstones. Make sure you have some gear that will protect you against fire, like the Fire Resistant Ring or like Water Veil or any armor set that can basically mitigate fire damage in case the red dragon is still alive in your game so as soon as you spawn in the first area in the boltarian palace you're gonna walk a little bit and then take the side path on the left which is gonna go down to a door so if you have pure white world tendency or pure black world tendency this door should be unlocked so this is basically gonna be like your first indicator to know if you're in pure black world tendency or not so you gotta clear the enemies, loot the items, and then you're gonna go up a little bit, and then you're gonna encounter Executioner Miralda, which for some reason, I don't know why she doesn't say anything in this game. Kind of disappointing, but it is okay. She's not very hard to kill, just dodge her attacks and kill her. After you do that, make sure you don't port back to the Nexus or fast travel between areas, because that will cause your world tendency to shift, and will cancel out the Primeval Demon, which we need to kill so that we can get, like, so we can get closer to having, like, pure white world tendency. So make sure you stay in soul form and don't switch back to body form like throughout this whole process. Once you're done with this area, like after killing the Black Phantom Meralda, what you have to do is you're going to have to go through several areas, like two areas, until you reach the Primeval Demon. So the only dangerous things that you're going to encounter in the first area is going to be like the dragon and the fire breath. So make sure you have like your fire resistant ring and like water veil or like a lot of healing because with pure black world tendency, like, the da like you're going to take a lot of damage. But if the dra dragon is dead, then you don't have to worry about anything. So once you reach the area where you fought the Tower Knight, go across the, the fog wall or if it's open, just keep going. And it's going to be the next area where you have like all these spies and dogs and the fat official. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but try to clear out as many enemies as you can. And there's one spot that you have to be careful because with pure black world tendency, there's like this little hallway that you're going to walk through. And then they're going to spawn two fat officials that are going to block you. So if you're like sandwiched in between them, like you're... Chances are that you're dead. You're not going to be able to survive that. So you can either kill the two Black Phantom Fat officials or you can just bypass them by like going around them. But it's very difficult. Once you get past that area and you go a little bit to the left and down, like you're going to come to this little opening that's surrounded by like these like archers and like soldiers and you'll find the primeval demon just sitting there. All you have to do is just kill it, take its soul, and then now you're free to go back to the Nexus. Once you port... Once you board back to the Nexus, the world tendency will update. You'll be very close to being pure white, but not there yet. So the next thing you need to do is either kill one of the remaining bosses, like Penetrator or like the final boss, or kill one of the dragons, either the red dragon or the blue dragon. And after you do that, all you have to do is like port back and your world tendency will shift to pure white. So one thing, once you have pure white world tendency, you can go to the same place where you fought Executional Meralda, the Black Phantom, and you'll find her body form. She'll attack you, you'll kill her, and you'll get her armor set. And if you haven't explored the area there, you can go down to pick up the uh, brushwood set, and also there's a colorless demon soul that's like on one of the ledges that you have to like, like you'll have to fall and pick it up. It's a little bit difficult, but you can get it. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll be uploading more Demon Souls remake videos like World Tendency, PvP, and builds and stuff. And I'll see you next time.